It's amazing, and we celebrate our father. First encounter, 1983. At number five, Rama Road, Angwarimi Kaduna. And uh, it was a seminar. He used to come in from Elorin. And we're told there is this young preacher that, you know, comes in with the seminars on supernatural encounter. And I went to the meeting. I was in the Polytechnic Kaduna then. And my life was transformed. And I began to follow him since then. Since 1983. And when I was about to finish my higher diploma in civil engineering, in the place of prayer, God spoke to me and gave me the vision. And uh, by 1987, as I was finishing my youth service, I had a desire in my heart. And I was praying Two people the Lord laid in my heart if they can pour oil on my head to kickstart. And that was Bishop David Oyedepo, our father, and the Archbishop Ben Dahusa. But Archbishop Ben Dahusa was very far. But eventually, praise God, 1989, April, I had the privilege to be ordained pastor in that Zana Cathedral. In Anguarimi. I don't know how many of you can remember. The church was in the Zana, you know, just grass. And the grass cathedral. That was where I was ordained a pastor by our Father in the Lord. And so the oil keeps flowing. We began to grow. We began to move on. And I was like, I think I should probably say I'm one of the first, the firstborn. And I later discovered that it is unique because Yesterday, May 2nd, that this commission was born, is my birthday. <laughs> and so, it's been like that, and almost every year, some years, I had to cancel my birthday and be here. And following has been an amazing blessing. My rising in life, and things we are doing in the ministry, across, you know, governmental cycles, and all that I'm involved in. It's through the grace of this great servant of God. And I'm proud always, every day, every time to call him Abba. Baba, thank you, sir, for such an impact. We love you. And we know that you have impacted us. And we have seen the effect of your impact in our lives. And we keep growing and growing. And amazingly, I was shocked tonight what I heard. If this is the wilderness face. Ha. Ah, I'm afraid of what the promised land will look like. Glory to God forevermore. I, let me finish this by saying I once took some men of God. You know, because somehow the Bishop David Oyedepo is a phenomenon you cannot predict. I took some men of God to see him in an Ipaja. And when we entered the lift, the pastor asked me, did you say this is a church? And we went to the seventh floor. And he kept saying, this man is not ordinary. It's a phenomenon. He's not an ordinary man. We have never seen this one. Thinking that living faith had reached their peak, we heard that he was moving to Canaan land, Ota. So which one is this one again? In that bush, and God had established the wall. So massively, not too long, a 50,000 cathedral was laid and built. Oh my God. And just when you think you are about celebrating a face in the life of God's servant, something else is bursting forth. My God, we are ready and we are ready to move on to the promised land. And we know it's going to be glorious from glory to glory.